Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we laid down this first row of manufacturers, and I said off-camera, I would just fill in the other two rows, and I've basically done that with all of the adjoining... Um, belt work for this unit so what we're going to be starting with today is actually to try and get everything pumped in and start trying to get these high speed connectors made so we've got four inputs here i know we don't need four. Ooh, that's quite that's quite close to the edge actually i think we're gonna want to give us a bit more breathing room than that so let's just go and run this down there we go. Okay, so we're going to need to be bringing in the quick wire, the um, circuit boards, and the silica from the train station that we're bringing in upstairs. So we've got the circuit boards over here, we've got the silica on the train, and then we've got, yeah, like I say, this quick wire. So this quick wire is going to be, I think, some of the easiest stuff to do because we've actually got three banks here and three banks of quick wire. So that should just be a straight, simple feed one round. So let's turn off these awesome sinks now. Right, okay. And then I'm going to kill the power over there and we're going to tidy it up. Uh, right, okay. So where is the power pole? There it is. So we're going to bring that power pole out. And then send it over. Cool. Okay. So now. Now we want to bring this round. So we want it to get to. There. That's not it at all. Did not see that twist just at the last second. So bring it back to. And then you're going like that bring that because that's not straight and we don't like not straight right so you are going to go there and then you're going to go along like this cool that's that done uh right okay ah there's the third quick wire output so you're going to go there and then one two more and then you're also going to feed along like whoop, that. So then the plan with this one is we can run it all the way along. Cool. And then just pop that straight in there. There we go. That's all the quick wire being fed for that first bank. Bank two is going to follow along. in like so then bank three oh, is gonna do the same oh. okay and then like so okay so that's now all the quick wire being fed in. Lovely. Now we have to get the circuit boards fed in. So for this, I'm going to probably use stacker ones and we're probably going to run it above. Right, let's try and get that all lined up nicely. Right, okay. Pop that there like that. Right. Take this out. Uh, and then we're going to want to put you in line here. Okay. Bring you there. And then you can actually just gently rise up like so. And in. 
coat. Right, now for this, we are going to want to put... That's kind of cool watching all that quick wire flow along. I'm really digging that. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to put you... Come on, there. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, and then we're going to want to put you along here. I actually think that's going to be a bit close. So we'll take that out and we'll just move it back a bit. Because we need to use a splitter on this row. We're not making right angled bends like like we were before. So I don't want it as close because I think if I have the actual support too close, the splitter won't look right. Now for the last one we can put it in. So we can go there like that. Uh, no, because that's not where it is. There we go. Right. Will you reach that? You will. Beautiful. Okay. And then what we can do is we put our splitters in like this. To feed the these ones. Et voila. Okay. So now they're all being fed with the circuit boards as well. Oh, there's the auto. Save. Ah, actually, that was something someone mentioned in the comments, and I'm going to do this now when this finishes on screen. Um, because I currently have the auto save set for where is it? 15 minutes. Oh, I thought I pushed it up to half an hour. Let's push that up to a full hour. Come on. Uh, do you know what? We'll just type in 60. Right. There we go. Right. Okay. So, circuit boards distributed. Now we just need to get the silica down there. And the silica is coming in at 37 and a half a minute. So hang on, how many how many did we have? It was like 21, was it? Yeah, 21. Okay. So 37.5 times 21. 787. Okay, so we are going to need to use two lines for this. Oh, that's going to be really awkward. Uh, right, okay. Let's get started with what we can do. So... If we... Actually, that might not be as awkward. Just having a thought about how we can do this. So, I have no idea if this is going to work well. What I've literally just had pop into my brain. But I'm going to do this. And 50 points to anyone who can figure out what I'm doing before I actually do it. Okay, right. And then we can go and get our first batch of silica, which is over here. Right, okay, so. Conveyor lift 5. Have you coming out in this direction? Now, I don't think I can go straight. Yeah, that's going to go immediately into the stairwell, which is upsetting. Which means I'm going to need to bring it round. Cool, then that's okay. Uh, right, okay, so... I need to get it. Do I need to get it over here? Could bring it down over here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, which means we can get rid of that and that. Uh, I would need to 
Well, first things first, we're going to need to bring this out. So we've got some ceiling to work with. Uh, right, and then you're coming right down here. Now, if I actually, I think for ease in just setting this up at the moment, if I do do just do that connection. And then we put a merger here. Right, will you... That's not lined up. Hang on, why is that not lined up? Mm, it's not exactly right, is it? Right, let's bring you back. Take out that. Right, okay. And then let's try this. Okay, now will you line the merger up if I do that? You will, okay. Then I take that down, and we try that again. Okay, cool. So that's that bit done. And then, what we do is we repeat the same thing. So we bring you there. You there and feed you in like that there we go right and then we need to put the splitter there again and that splitter there feed that in like so okay so that's that going so that's that should actually start some of them working now then what we're doing with the next batch is I'm actually going to bring you like there. Oh, I can hear something whirring up. Yep, we've got some light whirring up. Here are our first high speed connectors. Okay, so what we're then going to do is we're going to bring that second line along as well. Okay. And then we're just going to run this the same way. Okay. So then, oh, smoke's getting in the way now. I can't actually see. Put you there again. But you there like this. Grab our merger again. You're not gonna not gonna play nice and line up for me, are you? Right, there we go, we do that. Take that back out. Put it back in. Nice. Okay. So what I'm planning on doing is if we double run this over. We can actually use two inputs to put the silica in in this one instead of one. And that should still divide everything up exactly as we need it to be. But it will allow um, it will allow us to feed in. No, that's not right because that's messed up. Uh, it will allow us to, yeah feed it in twice as fast and do the split in the correct way. There we go. Why is that splitter not working?
Come on. I mean, that's now not straight. Come on, snap. Snap, damn you. Right, there we go. Cool. So that is how we're going to split our two lines evenly into three. Because, I mean, that just makes sense to me. And that, I am very happy with how that's behaving. Right, okay. Now, now we've got to figure out how we get all of this back out. And I think, arguably, I should have run those belts the other way. So I think I'm actually going to do that now and we'll do the joining at the other end of this. So. Yeah, then we can get all of these high-speed connectors back out. Uh, and... Yeah, I haven't figured... Then we need to start working on supercomputers, which is going to be fun. Right, okay, so... Oh, the split, they're mergers, aren't they? Of course they are. They're all facing the wrong way then. Okay. <sighs> okay, all right. So I'm going to spin all these around and I will bring you guys back when that's done because it feels daft to make you guys sit and watch me do this uh, when you know exactly what's going on. So yeah, I will catch you guys in a few minutes. Okay, right, they're all flipped. So we've now got our high-speed connectors coming out here. So I'm going to grab a merger because we are going to want to do effectively just this so we can join all three lines together uh, and then whoa okay that's a train line there there we go so that's now all three all three of those lines together now then let's have a look at because i've not even looked at the recipes for them yet so supercomputers hang, oh hang on they're computers not supers right so there's our supercomputer so that needs two computers two ai limiters some plastic and high speed connectors okay now oh no that's the radio control unit so uh, let's have a look. Our highest throughput there is five high-speed connectors. Or is it? Well, 5.625. 5 and I've forgotten how many we're planning on making. So we've got... Uh, 20 times 3, so that's 60. And then this last one's a little bit over. So we've got... 64 that we're making okay so we've got 64 high-speed connectors a minute being made and that uh, that would use six point okay so 64 divided by 5.625. 5. So that says we could feed 11 manufacturers and have a little bit of overage. So let's just say we run 11 of them. That means we would then need 3.75 computers times 11 is 33 ish. I don't think we're making 33 computers. Um, AI limiters, I think we've got a fair amount of those. And then plastic, we're actually beginning to swim in, so I'm not worried about the plastic. So. We've then got where we try and do all of this. And I'm thinking... So, 11 11's a really awkward number. I think we do two rows of five and then overclock one. Uh, so, that's what I'm thinking we do there. 
So let's let's go and sort that out. So let's have a look at our manufacturer blueprint. Okay, so let's load our where are we? Feels like it's put them in a different order. <laughs> I don't remember train foundation being there. Silicon circuit board? No. There you go. That one. Right. Okay. So you are now going to be doing super computers. Right. Okay. And we will save that. Okay. So this is now. Super comp. Save. Okay. Clear. Oop. And then we'll take that. And then, so we said we want 10 of those. Right, so I'm missing some resources for that. So I'm going to go and collect those. And then we will figure out where we're going to have our two banks of five for these heavy modular or these uh, supercomputer assemblers. Or not assemblers, manufacturers, but I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere around the back here. But we're going to have to get the computers over here as well. But I think what I want to do with that is I would like to drone those computers in, and I've been thinking about how I'm going to do that droning. Um, I do have a plan, so I think we're going to just try and enact that. Because we're still not actually getting computers back to uh the nexus which we do need to do so i think i think we lay these down first figure that out because then that's going to change where we bring the drone ports in to fly the computers in and i'm trying to work out whether i actually fly the cable uh, the plastic in as well although uh yeah, because plastic uses that that one, and we've already got silica in there, so I don't want to do that. So, yeah. We will... Oh, I love how that's all just flooded in beautifully. Hang on, you're short on quick wire. How are you short? Oh, because, yes, this is all calculated as if we're, we've got a 720 bit coming out of there, which we don't. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go get all the bits that we're missing, and then I will meet you back here to start that production. Okay, so here we are. We're back. Uh, I've managed to get the bits and pieces we're looking at. So, here is where we're going to be looking at the manufacturers. Now, I want to double check. Right, so you're going in that direction. So, what I think we can probably try and do is... Actually, let's double check. Do, oh, we didn't have a test one. Right, let's put you back there. Because with our supercomputers... What I want to double check is the plastic. Okay, so that's going to be... That's our highest volume. And times 11, that's going to be... Uh, 52.5 times 11. Okay. So, where my logic... Where my brain has gone with that is... We can put this out like this. And then I'm going to back-to-back -back the manufacturers. So we don't actually need... Um... Yeah, we don't actually need to have two lines of these. We can run them back to back. So that's what I want to do with them. So let's get these set up. So that is three, four, and five. And then from here, we need to just give us a bit of room to, play, to put, place the manufacturers themselves down. Okay, and then what we do is we do that. Uh, right, how close did we get those? So you are... Your box is just over that, so we are looking at there, right, like that. 
two, three, four, and five. Cool. And so what we do is we just do that. Although you're all marked. Yeah, we may as well give them full whack. Okay, second one's lightning down, second one's lightning down. So we'll do that and then we'll put the lifts in after. But that just saves us some logistical headache that we can run everything basically off of a central spine. Now, one of the other things I actually did go and have a look at during the break is our um, computer production. And we are not making enough computers to feed this. So that's going to be something we're going to have to have a look at. Uh, I think we're going to be able to. I'm just going to need to... Or we, yeah, we're just going to need to basically overclock some of the machines we've got going in. But we need to make sure we are feeding in the right number of resources for them. So, yeah, that's going to be the next challenge. Right, okay. So then we can connect all these up. Uh, cool, that's that. And voila, okay. So we then need to copy the settings because these ones weren't part of the blueprint, so they don't have those. But that's okay. Uh, right, we can then clear that to do list. Cool. Right, okay. So uh, here we're going to want to do, do, do an industrial storage just to deal with all of those. Uh, and now we actually need a tier two. Right, so. And we'll just run that into the bottom row there like that. Okay. So that is our high-speed connectors already getting sorted out, which is good. Happy with that. They're going to start filling that all in. Now, we are going to want to do some power with this. How do we want to do said power? How does that look? Uh, no. It's gone too far back. How about that? No, it's still too far back. It's weird, because it looks like it's... Uh, it's because it's going in. It's not far enough out. Okay. Okay. It's because I think that's lined up wrong on those uh, the concrete there. Uh... What happens if we take that out? We fit in here somewhere. That looks pretty good. Okay. Right. Yes, I know I'm mixing and matching because the other ones didn't have the underfloor, but you know, I've decided to be inconsistent. <laughs> Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. I mean, that doesn't look perfect to my mind, but... Right, and then, where are you going to go? You're going to go there. And we want to daisy chain these together. Like that. Actually take that beam out. Can I? Mm. 
Maybe. I mean, that'll do for the moment. Right. And then... On the other side... Oof. Okay, now we're getting close. Right, are you going to go... There? Yeah, you are. You're going to be on this line, aren't you? Right, so we'll just take these down then. Right. Uh, there we go. Okay. And we're going to have that storage box because we're going to be producing slightly too many... Um, Yeah, just ever so slightly too many high-speed connectors. So that's fine. It does mean that we'll slowly start getting a backlog in there. Right, that's that done. This one needs to be overclocked. As does this one. There we go. So there's our technically 11. Okay. So now... It's going to be getting the rest of the stuff over here. So the AI limiters, the computers, and the plastic. So for that, I'm thinking we're going to try and drone all of that in. So we're going to need to work on that next time. But as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons. Your patronage is very much appreciated. And so please don't forget that you do gain access to the save files for both this and Stranded Deep. So you can explore those worlds at your leisure. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you all next time.